one of those subdivisions, I'm predicting that Tesla stock price in about 15 years will be somewhere around $48,893, which from today's date is roughly 48, 47X where we are today, which is a lot, <laughs> which is a lot. Again, when I look at the 11 different lines of business within Tesla, it melts my brain where Tesla is gonna be able to flip a switch basically and have all of their cars now be robotic taxis that could be like an Uber, except it can take you there without the Uber driver. My Tesla stock price target for year end 2024 is $3,000 per share. In 2024, I'm expecting the two biggest catalysts to date in the history of Tesla, robo taxis doing their first fully autonomous fares somewhere on planet Earth most likely in the US, maybe in China, and the release of the $25,000 Tesla, aka the Tesla Q. Please, if anyone at Tesla is watching, make sure this name happens. Hi friends, welcome back. So those are some of the things that people are saying out in Tesla Pumper TV land. And in fact, it even gets even more crazy, <laughs> if you can believe that. Uh, but unfortunately, the reason why I have to uh, share these things with you is because people actually fall for this BS. And I want to make this really clear. There's a lot of uh, people out there. And frankly, uh, most of YouTube is filled with this kind of BS. People just pulling numbers out their butt, uh, posting it like, like it's you know going to happen, that you're all going to be rich from Tesla, that you're going to make more money than you could ever possibly dream of. <laughs> and, and unfortunately, uh, people fall for it. Um, I, I you know have to make these videos because I want to make this really clear um, in our community. I want you guys to put comments and thoughts and, and sort of debunk all of this crazy stuff that happens on YouTube. Because if you're new to the market and you see these videos that are like tons of likes, tons of views, tons of subscribers, these kind of things, you tend to believe that kind of stuff. That's like your social media proof. And that's all the proof that many people need these days is like, well, you know, I've said videos got lots of views, likes, and subscribers. Therefore, it must be true because people like it. <laughs> people really think like that. That, that. That's the sound of the young generation. That's the social media proof. That's all that they need and they keep watching Tesla Pumper TVs. Uh, take a look at some more and uh, let me know what you think. Again, when I look at the 11 different lines of business within Tesla, it melts my brain. But it's gonna incentivize people who have Teslas to kind of start their own businesses from home as a side hustle. So imagine that your Tesla was just gonna be sitting in your garage or just sitting in your driveway or sitting in a parking lot and you ain't using it and they could go out there and make money for you and then you gotta split the money just like how I got to split money with YouTube, how they get a split and then I get a split. Well, if I had a Tesla sitting in my garage, a Tesla sitting on my lot that I'm not using, a Tesla sitting in front of my house, and now this thing could go out there and make me, let's say $500 on a weekend, and then I got to send Tesla 100 and I get to keep the rest of the 400. Oh, now I'm incentivized to say, yo, what if I had a whole nother Tesla? He used to have, when they start out, at least 1 million robot taxis on the road. Imagine they make $300 each a day. By the way, I've spoken to many New York cab drivers, uh, Uber drivers. Like the Uber drivers that I know, typically they knock off when they make 300 bucks. And sometimes they can make that in three or four hours. Sometimes it takes them seven or eight hours. But we assume they'll, this will be cheaper than an Uber. Better, safer, and assuming it can work 12 hours a day i assumed it can make 300 bucks a day each and next thing you know people are using this to create businesses for themselves because now they got 10 teslas like a fleet of teslas that are out driving people around right so i want you to understand that this is an opportunity for tesla to make more money because it incentivizes people to actually start businesses just like people who are riding uber except without the uber driver remember now what happens if that million goes higher all right, let's pump that up. Let's take it to 350 a day, not 300 bucks a day. And the profit share goes to 25%. All of a sudden, you're looking at a $2,000 per share of value based on 3 million cars, and it goes to 6 million. We go up to nearly $4,000 per share. I don't know what these numbers are actually going to look like, what they're going to shake out like, but what I did was I weighted it with a very low platform share for Tesla. One of the subdivisions, I'm predicting that Tesla stock price in about 15 years will be somewhere around $48,893, which from today's date is roughly 48, 47X where we are today, which is a lot, <laughs> which is a lot. Again, when I look at the 11 different lines of business within Tesla, it melts my brain. That's why I'm so frazzled right now. I have to put everything down in the mind map because I can't remember it all. 
and we're just talking about the robo taxes forget all the other good stuff that got going on and next thing you know people are using this to create businesses for themselves because now they got 10 teslas like a fleet of teslas so if all of this stuff is bs how can these people get away with it and why doesn't anyone call them out well <laughs> frankly I, I i do try to call them out but uh for whatever reason the algorithm prefers that sort of bs content and the more channels that push that stuff out they kind of piggyback on each other uh, people all want to feel good people all want to dream about winning the lottery people want to start their own business people want that passive income people want to make 300 dollars a day 400 dollars a day 500 dollars a day whatever uh, they're promising you and essentially it, it's like living in dreamland with a reality distortion field around you um, unfortunately when you try to tell people the truth they actually get really angry I, I see it in comments and I'm like I don't know what to do uh, other than I, I just present the stuff the best that I can uh, and moreover I encourage you guys also to write in comments of like help me please debunk all of these things um, it is so crazy the stuff that people say on social media if we pull out the exact numbers and I'll share the details behind this on patreon later as well as all the mind maps but we could get to a stock price of Robotaxi alone of 183 and next year, 398 in 2026, 863 in 2027, 2000 dollars in 2028, and over four thousand dollars in 2029. And remember, this is not a stock market forward-looking model. This is a model based on actual earnings at the time. My Tesla stock price target for year end 2024 is $3,000 per share. In 2024, I am expecting the two biggest catalysts to date in the history of Tesla. Robo taxis doing their first fully autonomous fares somewhere on planet Earth, most likely in the US, maybe in China, and the release of the $25,000 Tesla, aka the Tesla Q. Please, if anyone at Tesla's watching, make sure this name happens. And that's not the way markets work. Markets look forward and estimate where the puck is going to be. But because Wall Street doesn't understand Tesla, they need to have the numbers in their boxes to be able to appraise them. And that's why this model works this way. In reality, if Wall Street was working and understood that Tesla is not a car maker, not a cons consumer products company, but an AI company, the valuation will be completely different. Think NVIDIA, all right? Think of exponential growth. And moreover, sort of why people fall for this stuff as well is people don't understand basic math. Um, it is a sad thing. Uh, basically, I can come out and say, hey guys, Tesla's gonna be twice the size of Apple. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, twice the size of Apple. And then I, the next video I'll get, oh you guys, Tesla's gonna be five times the size of Apple. Oh yeah, five times the size, the size of Apple. But it's like, the numbers that we're talking about here is just ludicrous numbers. Uh, you know, when they promise you Tesla's gonna be, you know, whatever, 10,000 a share, 50,000 a share, whatever. It's just like ludicrous numbers. There's just not enough money out there to put it all in this one company. Uh, what, is Tesla gonna just take over every single business in the world and everyone else is gonna go bankrupt? Is that is that the plan? And, and the thing is, it's so ridiculous is that because that people can't just do basic math or even have basic logic, and again, blinded by greed, uh, they fall for it and moreover, there's a lot of people who will gladly lie to you every single day. So I understand guys, I get it more than you know, I do this stuff all the time. And you know, if I come out and, and I show you facts and, and I you know do it in a non-hype kind of way, in a reasonable way and say, hey, you know, uh, maybe it's not gonna go to a million dollars, $10 million, whatever stupid stuff that they're telling you. Um, it's not fun, I understand that, it's not fun. I understand it is more fun uh, to get hyped up, it's more fun. Uh, to like think about and dream about how rich you're going to be it's it's more fun to think about hey my one dollar is going to turn into 10 million dollars oh my god and it's it's fun to think about what if i own 10 teslas and they all make me money all the time what if i can just sleep and not do anything and, and my teslas just drive around by themselves and make me money <laughs> but it's all nonsense um uh, sadly though nonsense is popular and this is sort of the youtube world that we live in and um, I, I, you know, try to do my best to, to both give you guys, you know, accurate information and have a bit of fun if I can. But, you know, sometimes the accurate information isn't necessarily fun. It's just information, right? It, it, it's education. And the sadly, though, you know, this is YouTube. I get it. If, if you dance, you show cat videos, you tell people all oh, they're going to get rich, etc. Uh, that's essentially what the average viewer wants to, to see. Um, I, I'll, I'll try my best to keep, you know, telling you guys the truth on these kind of things. But I need to sort of play these things in a row. And I just want you, for those of you who uh, you know, are new to the market, uh, new to investing, new to any of this kind of stuff, just to take a step back logically and, and, and you know, play it out in your mind. 
Uh, can everyone get rich all doing the exact same thing? <laughs> just just think about that. You know, um, you know, on YouTube, for example, there's all these channels promising you that you're going to get rich with drop shipping or whatever. And, and essentially they say, hey, you know, buy my class and I'll teach you how to uh, be super, super rich drop shipping red socks. And, and, you know, just think about this logically. What if everyone does the same thing and it starts selling you red socks? What's going to happen to the market of red socks, right? Obviously, uh, it'll crash the same way that Okay, so I guess if we're all gonna buy 10 Teslas and we're all gonna try to run our 10 Tesla taxi business, like, <laughs> like if everyone in the world has a 10 Tesla taxi business, who are gonna be the customers? Because everyone in the world is doing the same thing. It's just like that kind of nonsense, but I, I get it. You know, it's more fun to uh, dream about being rich, et cetera. So, you know, I, I, I try my best and, and uh, I just, again, I, I, I just want you guys to help me out in the community. I, I don't wanna feel alone in this of being the only, only same person on YouTube uh, filled with a bunch of BS. Uh, and, and hype, but it is what it is. So anyway, uh, I do appreciate your time. I'd like to hear your thoughts on this stuff. And, and it's hard for me to talk about this stuff, you know, without, with the, how can I say? It's hard to keep me, me to keep a straight face with this stuff because I, I can't stop from laughing when I see these things because to me, it's obviously a scam, but to a lot of people out there, they think it's real and they think it's true, which is the sad thing. So anyway, I uh, do appreciate your time and uh, I'll catch you next video. Again, when I look at the 11 different lines of business within Tesla, it melts my brain. And next thing you know, people are using this to create businesses for themselves because now they got 10 Teslas, like a fleet of Teslas. Again, when I look at the 11 different lines of business within Tesla, it melts my brain.